Hey, I'm Real Name Sir. We had some fun with this one. This is a tutorial on a mid fade with a texture top. Let's go. I froze it right here because I already created my ball fade line. Now we're going to start fading with the number two. Follow these exact steps. Now I'm going in with a one and a half guard. Now you want to start blending that one and a half out with the one guard. Now you're gonna come behind that one with the half guard and start chipping that line out some more. I'm freezing it right here again to show you to come back with the one to kind of clean up that middle of the fade. Now you're gonna use no guard, which is a one, to kind of clean up that line. But you wanna use the corner of the blade to chip that line out some more. Also, keep opening and closing your clipper to clean the line out until it's completely gone. Here, we're gonna do clipper over comb with a number two guard, and we're gonna go in and we're gonna raise the clip to comb up as we're cutting. That way we can take that bulk out at the top. So that way we can start doing our shear work later on. Also, I want to mention that the number two is open as I'm going up with the comb. So you can see right here, I'm using the comb and just bringing the hair out and I'm cutting it away with the two guard. Now I'm gonna come back with my texturing shears or thinning shears. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take some of that bulk away that was left over from clipper over comb. I'm not gonna chop, I'm just gonna shear some of the bulk away one bit at a time. Now it's time to trim the top. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna wet his hair so that way we can do a wet cut and evenly part his hair so that way we can create more volume. Right here, I'm gonna part his hair down the middle. So that way I can trim and create volume from the front to the back. So I'm gonna part his hair right here. So that way I will be able to create volume and also get an even cut all over.
So to create volume, you want to cut the hair from long to short. So in the front, you want the hair to be the longest, all the way to the middle where it's mid, and in the back to be short. Uh, for my client, he always likes his hair to be much more fuller in the front and shorter in the back. So that way he doesn't have any hair sticking up. Right here, my bad, y'all. I was in the way of the camera, uh, but right now I'm in the middle of his hair and I'm just evening up. I'm just going all the way, like I said, from the front to the back, making it long to short. So that way his hair will be much more uh, fuller in the front. Now here, since I set up a guideline in the middle where all I had to do was cut from long to short, now I'm just going from the left side to the center and just evening up the left side. Well, this is the right side and evening up to the center. And you can do that on the left side as well. And so now you know that your hair is completely even because you already cut it in the middle. And now all you have to do is just take the sides and match them to the middle. Here, all I'm doing is just drying the hair. I want it completely dry. So that way when I decide to start putting product in and enhancements, it's not wet and damp and making it run. Now we're gonna take our blow dryer and a round brush, or I like to call it a spiral brush, to get that textured look, that volume, at that fullness that we were talking about. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the hair back and blow dry it as we're rolling it. Now we're gonna create texture with our matting powder. That's all it is, is just to have the hair stand up, give it that texture look. Next up, we're gonna come with our texture comb and some Sebastian Reshaper hairspray. This is to help give that fullness, uh, add more texture, uh, give that hair that pop that we're looking for. Once again, I'm in front of the camera, but it's all right. Uh, but all I'm doing is I'm spraying and I'm lifting the hair up with the comb. And I'm not letting the hairspray completely hit his hair. I'm just letting it fall on top of it because we don't want to confuse the hairspray. We want to be able to just have it sit on top without it making the hair too damp. There you have it. Told you we had some fun with this one. My customer's looking good. I'm Millie rocking. It's the mid fade with the texture top. Other than that, I'm gonna clean up his beard. And that's it for the tutorial. I appreciate you guys checking it out. You can follow me on all platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, at Real Name Sir.